what are you conveying to the buyer and why? Part of it, quite frankly, is selfish because if that buyer ends up going with one of these online places where you try to get a hold of someone and it's a new person every time and one person does one portion of the underwriting and then they hand it off to someone else that doesn't know what's going on, there's too many people involved. And as an agent, for me to keep the communication lines going with my client, with attorney, with the other side, if I can't get a hold of somebody, whether it's after 5 p.m. or on a Saturday or whatever it is, it's invaluable to be able to pick up the phone, shoot a text, get a response response, know what's going on, and not be stuck in this black hole of un not knowing where you're at. Obviously, I try and, and let the buyer know one of the, the benefits and the importance of, of using a lender like myself. One from a communication standpoint, the buyer knows that they can get a hold of me, whether it's via phone, text, email, you know, basically 24 seven. They need a question at 10 o'clock at night. They need something on a Saturday, on a Sunday. They're gonna get a response. They're gonna get help for whatever they need. This is the biggest purchase of this person's life. They're not at the farmer's market. Something that you don't wanna just cheap out on and say the cheapest is best because I mean we all know and it happens to all of us in the industry people are a lot of times they're hyper focused on rate 